to make this move for ages now. And even if I mess up, he's going to forgive me and still love me. There's a lot of things I need to change in order to become a better Christian. But I've got my whole life to work on them. And with God on my side, it's all possible. So my message to you guys is if you feel like you're not good enough or not ready to get baptised or even give your life to God, then I'm telling you that you are and God says you are too. Hello everyone. Um, As some of you know, I've been brought up in a Christian house. And I've never really doubted that God's real, but I didn't really fully understand what it meant to follow God. Um, I've been surrounded by family, Christian friends, youth leaders and soul survivor, which have all helped me come to understand that being Christian means being part of a relationship. I'm sure I'll still make lots of mistakes, but I want to try my best to follow God and do what he wants me to. Ask these guys to find people to pray for them. And I think Andrew's going to pray for Andrew. Yeah, Father God, I just thank you for the story that Andrew told us, Lord. I thank you that that we don't have to be perfect to deserve your love, Lord, and this incredible gift of grace that you've offered us, Lord. I just pray that Andrew takes this step, um, as Andrew takes the step of faith in this baptism in front of all these scary people, Lord, I pray that... um, You'll affirm his faith, Lord, and you'll just make him such an incredible man of God, Lord, who will follow you with his whole life. I just pray that you'll really be with him every day of his life, Lord, that you'll set his heart on fire for you, Lord, and just just bless him in every single way, Lord. Amen. Lord, I thank you for this special day, and I thank you that Miriam has decided to take this step in becoming closer to you. I pray that you'll just guide her and keep her following your directions in everything she does. I pray that you'll keep her safe when she goes off to uni and that she'll be able to find others who share the same love for you and that you'll just help her through whatever she faces. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll be with Miriam today as she makes this step in her faith. I pray that you would open her mind and her, her mind and her heart to your, des- your presence and desires, that you would bless and keep her safe as she enters a new and exciting chapter of her life both in her walk with you and in starting university. I pray that she'll be a great witness to you and an inspiration to others. I ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. So if any of you younger guys want to come forward for a better look, it's a good chance we're going to go into the water. I'm just going to simply ask them a question about who they follow, and then on behalf of the church, I'll be baptising them in the name of the Father and the, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And he is nice and warm in there. We baptise you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Yeah, Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much for the commitment that Shep's made to, uh, to you. Um, Lord, uh, we might be happy now, but that's nothing compared to the party that's going on in heaven right now. And Lord, I just, I just pray that you just, um, I just thank you that you're welcoming me in, and you just, um, yeah, you just help him on that journey, and you just, you just fill him with your spirit, Lord Jesus. Just fill him up and just send him out there, Lord. He's such a man for you, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that you just, 
yeah, you just use him for your work, Lord Jesus, and he just holds on to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Miriam, do you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour? I do. I baptise you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. of the living God fall afresh on Miriam. Father, we just thank you for Miriam. We thank you for what she means to us, but how much more she means to you. I just thank you, Lord, that she has done this in obedience to you. Pray for her, Lord, as she goes to university and she has the whole of her life with you. Father, I pray that she will look back at this time and rejoice because she has done what you wanted her to do. I, Father, I pray that you will give her your love, your joy, your peace, your assurance of her, your presence with her as she goes from here and goes with you. In your name. Amen. 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 this morning um, so guys if in two weeks time the baptismal pool um, is going to be open again uh, we've got one baptism in the sea as well um, so if you're ready actually no Andrew told us it's not about being ready is it if you're trusting in Jesus and following him then it's time to get baptized come and see myself um, Samuel um, or Stephen and uh, today or during this week and um, yeah and we'll sort that out so um yeah Fantastic. We're going to sing together and celebrate. Uh, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Once the musicians get back in position. <laughs> let's, uh, let's stand together. <laughs> 